Hey guys, Abs here. I'm going to be taking you through a demonstration of using the Social Hub Submitter. In this demonstration, I'm actually hoping to point out and show you exactly how the strategy, how the strategy works and how it all fits in and what kind of sites um, it's going to be sending your posts to um, and how you can actually link up your sites to work with Ping FM, Hello Text, and Posterius, and hopefully many more to come as well. Um, so, but one thing that I want to point you towards, um, towards the start, is a certain file that's going to hold all of our details. Now, as we continue to work with the Social Hub Submitter, you're going to have more and more projects added. You're going to have more and more groups added. And the last thing we want to do, uh, or well, the last thing that we want to happen, um, is for all of them details to be wiped and lost. Now, for us, what we can actually do, we can take a backup copies of these files. Um, now. The way we do this is inside of the application folder, so the social hub submit application folder, we look for a file called settings.xml. So underneath the type area, it's an XML document, but it's the only file that's going to be called settings. Now, all you need to do is right click on this and you copy it and you can save it anywhere you want. You take it away to your desktop, um, create a new folder, call it backup, um, and add your file in there. Now, what that's going to allow you to do is it's also going to allow you to work with, say, for example, you have somebody else who's got a um, social hub submitter that you work with, like maybe um, one of your virtual assistants, um, then you can actually share, you can actually share your settings files um, between uh, with each other. Um, and have exactly the same projects, have exactly the same groups and connections in there as well. Um, so anyway, a pro tip, very, very important. Do back up your settings file every now and again. Um, now, one thing that's happened to a number of users is when they open, if I just quickly, oops, that's the manual. If I open up um, the social hub submit, I'll actually show you. Uh, one thing that's happened to a number of users is They've gone into um, the social hub submitter. They've added their projects. They've saved their projects and everything over. Um, they've they've set everything on here as well. Told it to go away and start posting. Um, and they've actually tried to close it. Now, when they've tried to close it, instead of pressing exit, they've hit their cross button towards the top. And what that does, that actually makes the um, submitter run in the background. Now, what that means is your data isn't saved. Um, when you want to actually close the, close out of this, you want to click on exit. Once you click on exit, that means everything's saved over. And when you do reopen it, you're going to have all your products. Sorry, you're going to have all your projects and your groups in there as well, uh, which is exactly what we're looking to keep. Um, so it's very important that we remember to click on the exit button and not the cross button because that's just going to minimize. Okay, so what I'm going to do um, is in this video just talk you through the three hubs that the system works with. I've actually got them open up in front of me here. So this is Ping FM. If we work through Ping FM to start off with, now Ping FM, what it is, it's actually a hub. Now, what this hub allows you to do is connect a number of social media sites. Um, so the ones that I've actually got connected here, and also these ones here now what you'll find is a number of them are related to AOL services a number of them are related to Google services um, and a number of them are related to Yahoo services as well and a number of them are all totally different like Facebook and um, some other ones as well now the advantage of having such a hub is when you link your accounts in here so for example you, you'll come over to ping fm you'll sign up for a ping fm account you'll go over to add more networks or add networks and near each one whichever one you have an account for um, hopefully you can sign up for them all if you can't sign up for them all then at least the ones that actually work some of the some of the ones on here are, are outdated like for example jq doesn't work anymore it's been taken down by google and i think it was actually a status update site now i think plaxo pulse is actually um, well, I'm not 100% sure actually, but there's a number of ones on here that actually are not supported anywhere anymore, and Ping FM does need to get them updated. Uh, regardless, um, what you do is you come over here and you click on Add Network next to whichever network you want to connect with Ping FM, and you'll connect that network with with Ping FM. Obviously, you will need an account on this um, social media site in order to connect it uh, with the network. And then what happens is when you do post to Ping FM, for example, from here, or when you're using the social hub submitter, then it's going to make a post from here and it's going to show up in your account down here as well. So it's basically auto syndicating or it's actually sending your one post 
um, and sending it to all of your linked connections which is fantastic because your one post is therefore getting sent to how many actual accounts or how many social sites you've got connected to it so this is how ping fm works it's very important that you have a ping fm account not only an account on ping fm but you also add your networks to ping fm as well now going over to hello text for example this is hello text it works in exactly the same way as hello text uh, as ping fm in the sense um, that it connects to a number of social media sites you make the one post and it will send this post to whatever social media sites you have connected to it now the way this actually works is if I go over to manage networks when you actually create an account with hello text um, you click on manage networks or you click on add which is just down there um, or it will automatically bring up this account for, or automatically bring up the add network page for you towards the left hand side is a number uh, a number of networks or uh, sorry a number of social media sites that are listed that are supported by hello text again some of these are going to be um, outdated like jku and and some more in here as well that don't work um, but you actually you, you come over and you click on whichever one you want so for example myspace I'll click on myspace and it'll give me the details and okay hi Kip you have entered hello text myspace oh okay I've already at, actually got myspace link to here let me just go to let's go JQ because I know JQ we haven't okay so you'll add your username and this is asking for a personal key here and you've actually got a link to take you to the personal key but if we go to say for example high five it asks you for an email and password so all you have to do is click on these ensure you've actually got an account with these already and um, then you can actually add them down here now if we go over to my networks it actually shows you down here the networks that I've already got linked to this hello text account and the way this would work is exactly the same way as I, as I told you uh, as I noted earlier on that you'd actually make a post in here now this is exactly what the social hub submitter does it actually posts to your Twitter uh, sorry it posts to your hello text account as well which then actually sends it to all of the networks that are linked to uh, to that connection sorry to this hub and if we go over to Posterious, now in Posterious, once you actually logged in and create an account, you'll go over to Spaces. Once you're on Spaces, um, that's your actual space in there. Um, you'll click on this link just here, and you'll go to Auto Post Setup. Once you go to Auto Post Setup, it'll go to Add Services. Just give it two moments. Here we go. Add a service, and on Add a service, there's a number of connections you can add on here, like WordPress, LinkedIn, Typepad, Twitter. Facebook pages, Blogger, Tumblr, YouTube, Flickr and some more as well and uh, all you do is click on them and you also add the service to here and this works in exactly the same way you actually post to Twitter uh, sorry you, you post to Posterious uh, like for example you've got a here and you post via uh, sorry via web uh, you post to Posterious when you do post to Posterious then it's gonna send it over to your connected locations as well so whatever services you've got connected to this um, so it's very straightforward the way it works um, all you have to re the setup is a little time consuming um, now in order to set all these social media sites up it can take quite a bit of time um, and we do actually have tools for them so obviously the social hub builder um, that signs up to about 90 social media sites more social sites than these actually support um, and I'm going to be doing some extra video tutorials and showing you exactly how you can use them extra sites as well um, and benefit from them outside of the social hub submitter because uh, a social hub submitter isn't your only solution to posting to so many um, hubs um, sorry to so many social media sites so at the moment the social hub submitter works with ping fm hello text and posterius um, combined they work with a number of social media sites um, and when you do have mul multiple hubs so multiple social media hello text and posterious accounts that's when you're really going to see some real um, nice activity going on in the search engines uh, with your traffic as well um, and it does really add up which is real cool because it really does increase your social signals um, your social activity um, and it really gives the search engines exactly what they're looking for but in order for this to work guys we do need to ensure that we are adding um, some connections into these hubs um, now it isn't going to be good enough just having the ping fm account or the hello text account without any connections added to them because that's just not going to work now I'm going to do another video tutorial. The next video tutorial is going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide and showing you exactly how you can work with the social hub submitter. Um, but okay, before we actually go and do that, I'm going to tell you exactly how um, um, 
Bitly works with this as well. So um, I'll actually give you a demonstration now. Okay, so if I'm I'm on here, which is um, my Ping FM account, I'm going to make a post on here, and I'm not going to use any URL shortener. And what we're going to see is Ping FM is going to automatically shorten that URL using a Bitly, sorry, using a Ping FM 302 redirect link, which is not what we want. So I'll just do a link. Okay, I'll click on ping it. I'll go over to recent posts. Oh, okay, that means, okay, that wasn't, okay, you know what I've actually done? I've actually set up this account to remove ping FM link. So if we have a look at this one here, um, HTTP ping FM, um, now that's a link gonna go over to, that's gonna go over to my uh, bookmark lovers website. Now, obviously that's using a ping FM URL. I'm gonna show you why it didn't convert this one here and I'm going to show you that now. We're going to go, I'm going to go over to settings, and I'm going to go to default settings. And as you can see, I've got this checkbox here saying shorten links in post unchecked. Now, as standard, when you open a Ping FM account, what they do, they actually short, they actually have this checked, and they're going to enter some really horrible links like this, which we don't want. Now, it's very tempting to actually go away and uncheck this and not use Bitly. Um, so you can actually have your own URLs in here. Um, but the reason I I advise not to do that is because status update sites like Twitter, um, other websites as well, will automatically shorten your URL as well. Um, so it's not only Ping FM or Hello Text that are going to shorten your URLs um, if it if they reach a certain character, um, if they in, if they reach higher or if they are higher than a certain character limit. Um, because the other sites, some other sites like like Twitter and, and other websites will as well, which are not going to be 301 redirects and they're not going to really pass us our link juice. So the reason we use Bitly um, and the reason it's very, very, uh, the reason it's a very good idea to use it as well is so that when we do actually get the backlinks from these websites, because not all of these websites that we work with are going to give us backlinks as well. Some of, the, some of them are going to be great for brand awareness. So for example, the image sites, um, they're going to be really cool for actually syndicating our images to. Um, and on the images, all you have to do is just have your URL, you know, plastered over it, um, or, or you know, ha have the name of your company or something. So some of them are really good for brand awareness as well. Others are going to be really nice and cool for link juice. Um, others, um, they're just going to be really good to send over targeted traffic. Um, so it's really good to have your Bitly links in there because you know that the Bitly links are going to be short. You know other websites and um, social media sites are going to be happy with the short URL and they're not going to have to go ahead and actually shorten it using their own service which we don't know if it's going to be a 301 or 302 but with hello text and ping fm we know it's going to be a 302 so we don't want that to happen anyway um, anyway this, this is how you work with ping fm and hello text and posterius and the next video tutorial tu tutorials was actually taking you through and showing you how you can work with a social hub submitter thank you very much guys and i hope this um, does help